Namaskar, my dear friends, I am back again. It is story time. I just want to share with you an incident that I think is probably worthwhile sharing because maybe some of you can relate to it, especially for those of you who do sadhana despite the challenges there is in the world. So, I think I have experienced being discriminated against because I do sadhana. Yes. So this is how the story went. My latest vacation, I went with a group of people who are not so familiar with what sadhana is and how it really affected me in a positive way. Because I am very much dedicated to doing my sadhana every single day. I have to wake up extra early while everyone is still asleep just to finish my sadhana so when everyone's awake, I could start socializing with the group because that is what is expected of me. But with consideration towards the group, I kind of told them about my morning routine that I have to do my sadhana and that I have to wake up early. And if I can't finish my sadhana, I was requesting for them to allow me the time to finish my sadhana. And so it started when there came a time where I was needed basically my daughter was crying and I had to attend to her so I had to cut my sadhana and I wasn't able to finish. And someone in the group was saying <laughs> that I should prioritize being with my daughter just for once because I'm on vacation. And this person called sadhana as exercise. <laughs> this person said like, you could just stop your exercise and be with your daughter. Just stop it's not a priority your priority should be your daughter forgive me and it came to a point where this person was actually taking pictures of me while i was doing my sadhana because i was not allotted the time to do my sadhana privately i had to do it in public where my daughter is around and people could see me i'm like there's no way i could get away with this but i have to do my sadhana so i did it in the presence of people and with my daughter and of course, my daughter saw me doing sadhana. She didn't really understand what it was. So she was like all over me, you know. <laughs> she was touching me. She was doing the postures with me. When I was do doing my uh, Surya Kriya and Surya Namaskar, it was actually really cute. But this person then took pictures of me. But because my partner saw me that I was so dedicated and having to do my sadhana and actually trying to finish it with the best of my abilities, he had to divert the attention of people and take my daughter away from me so that I could finish what I had to do. And after that was done, of course I didn't know photos were taken of me. When the group had to come together, this person then was showing me photos that they took of me doing my sadhana and started laughing. and. Oh my god, to be honest, I kind of felt really offended because <laughs> they were making fun of me while I was doing sadhana. But some part of me just really thought like, oh my god, they don't really understand how magnificent, how impactful, and the immense grace there is in sadhana. They just don't know. They laugh at it because they are so clueless of what sadhana can do. So despite being slightly offended, just knowing the fact that they don't know just overrides the irritation because like, oh my god. <laughs> Forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So I think the moral of the story is not everyone will really understand what sadhana is. And it's okay because me knowing the benefits there is in sadhana, there's no one to stop me. Like, I have to do my sadhana because it's that important for me. And to think about it, if these people who discriminated against me for doing my sadhana, if they knew, only if they knew what sadhana is and how full of grace it is, they would actually probably really join me. Until then, I hope one day they will be graced by knowing the immensity of the power there is in sadhana. But yes, you guys, <laughs> that's all the story I have. If you are discriminated against for doing sadhana, don't stop. For they don't know. But you know. <sighs> Namaskaram. Until next time, okay? Bye.